Oh, buongiorno, signore and signori. I didn't see you there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're back in the kitchen because we're doing another food-related video. Now, Pixar is known for their imagination movies. So Toy Story was imagining if toys have emotions. Monsters, Inc. was imagining if monsters have emotions. And they recently released a new movie, Luca, imagining if Italians have emotions. And that's what we're basing our video on today. We're gonna be eating like Luca for the next 24 hours. So let's get it started. <laughs> Let's start off with breakfast. My assistant here have prepared a cup of authentic Italian cappuccino. Thank you. We've got a cup of authentic Italian cappuccino here. Definitely not from a packet from Nescafe. And that's for breakfast. Cheers. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Okay, we'll let this chill on one side. Let's get started on lunch because it's definitely not 5 p.m. right now. So for lunch, I've prepared here a ciabatta. So this is gonna be recreating the sandwich that, what was his name? Enrico? Hercule? The villain in the movie. The villain in the movie was eating a giant sandwich. Who wants to watch me eat a big sandwich? Hmm? Now this is the largest spread I could get. I could have gone with a baguette, but then again, it wouldn't be Italian, it would be French, and we're not doing ratatouille in today. We're gonna turn this into a ham and cheese sandwich. Very simple, but delicious lunch. So we're gonna start off by cutting the bread. We don't have bread knives here, so we're just doing it with a regular knife. If there's any Subway employee watching, um, please don't come for me. I don't know how to make a sub, but there we go. See? Very porous, like a sponge. And I've got some free-range roasted ham with rosemary and thyme here. It looks really pretty. I like that, um, that you can see... Oh, oh. You can see the um, rosemary and thyme just intertwining throughout the whole thing. I don't really know what I'm talking about. This looks so nice. I love that we have a good camera recording all of this. We can you turn on the light so that this side can have good lighting. There we go. Let me uncut the bread, put it back together so that we can have good lighting again. Gorgeous looking cheese slices. This looks like an animated piece of cheese. Just look at it. Oh my god, just look at this. This looks exactly like his sandwich in the movie. It may not be as long, but it's just as delicious. I'm saying this without even trying it because I know. Okay, we're gonna cut this in how many? Half? Quarters? Let's do quarters. It's a lot. Just gonna cut this in quarters. have this part. Welcome. Just look at the layers. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, if the villain in the movie, who is supposedly the rich kid, is eating this, then this has to be good. What can I say? It's amazing. I'm really happy I got the ham with um, rosemary and thyme, because the flavors really come through. And I like that the ciabatta has like a slight tang to it. Just tastes like bread to me. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. As good as that was, it's not even the main point of this video. I came up with the idea to do this video because I saw Pixar actually came up with an official recipe from Julia, one of the main characters in the movie, for the pesto pasta in Luca. We're gonna test that out and I'll see you in a bit when it's time for dinner. Bye.
Much, much, much later. Bentornato. Welcome back. Why? What's the point of saying welcome back? I just said that. Well, I bet you can't tell what we're making now. We're gonna do the trenete al pesto. Is that how you say it? Pasto. Pesto. I think that's how you say it. If it's not, go to the comment section, let me know how you say it, roast me, whatever you want. But here we go. Dinner's ready. Trenete al pesto. Mangiamo. We have all the ingredients here. I've prepped everything. I feel like Rosanna Pantino. Watch out, Rosanna Pantino. I'm coming for your career. <laughs> We're gonna start off by making the pesto. So I've got here my trusty blender. We are not sponsored by Blendjet, but if you would like to sponsor us, that would be great. Do you want to read out the recipe? Say what they have. What do we need for the pesto? 45 leaves or 50 grams of basil genome. Close enough. Two cloves of garlic. Okay, I've got a whole garlic here. We're just gonna use two cloves. Pinch of course. It's more than a pinch, but we're going to use this for salting the pasta water. Two tablespoons of grated parmigiano. We've got parmigiano here, and... Two tablespoons of grated pecorino. Okay, by the way, we're halving the recipe because that's a recipe for four people, and we're only doing two. My assistant is not very good at math. She cannot half the recipe um, on top of her head. One manciata, <laughs> or about 30 grams of pineapple. We've got 15 grams of pineapple here. And half a glass or 100 ml of extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. With an exclamation mark. I'm not even kidding. It literally says extra virgin. That's all for the pesto. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start off. Because I don't have the strongest blender in the world, no offense to Blendjet, um, it's just not a food processor. So we're not gonna do anything too crazy. We're gonna start off with the liquids first so that it can have an easier time. 50 ml, aka 50 grams of olive oil. And then what do we put next? You slowly add a bit of oil as you go. Oh, well, it's a blend jet. I think we can just put everything in. So we put the pine nuts in, the olive oil in, we put a pinch of salt. We're doing 25 grams of basil. Rub this on your body, you got free cologne. I hope the blend jet can handle it. This is also at the same time a blend jet review to see if it can handle making pesto. <laughs> not at the I garlic. want the garlic. Okay, fine. Um, how do you even peel a garlic? Uh, if you don't know, I hate garlic. So, um, how am I supposed to peel this? How am I supposed to peel this thing? Oh, God, that was not easy. This is why I don't like garlic. So much work just to get some stinky shit. This much effort just for one clove of garlic. Put it in. Is it worth it? I don't think so, but. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just realized we forgot something. What? The most important two ingredients. Pine nuts? No. I forgot to put parmigiano and pecorino. I thought it's for, I thought that was later. Is she even Italian? This recipe is so long. Is she even Italian if she doesn't put the cheese into the pesto? I thought you put the cheese into the pesto. Don't you? Somebody tell me. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, oh. Mix it and then and then absorb yeah, yeah, yeah. it and then put the cheese. Yada yada yada. We're doing it that quick. Way. Or something. It's a very long recipe. So I've got here my microplani. Microplani. We've got a microplani here. But I still need a bit of milk, full fat, which I've warmed in the micro wave. And I'm gonna grate about one teaspoon of each. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then here goes the pecorino. Wait a minute, do I even have to grate it? I can just shove the entire thing in and let the blender do its magic. Just blend it for some more. This smells so good. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, it's a little thick, but... 
Let's look at the pesto. Look how pretty it is. I'm so scared of like pouring it out, but it's so thick that you can't even pour it out. I'm gonna put the pesto aside and then I'm just gonna clean this up because it's a mess. I didn't know it was this messy making pesto. But um, I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna get to the pasta part. See you in a bit when I'm done cleaning. Bye. 15 minutes later. Welcome back. The pesto is on the side resting. I've cleaned the kitchen counter and we're gonna start with the pasta. What do we need for the pasta? Um, you added salt, right? No, but first, let's start with some salt. As they say, you want your pasta water to taste like the sea because Luca is a sea monster. What do we want next? To throw in the pasta. We don't have trenete. Um, I don't know because this is not Italy. So we got linguine, which is like, um, the closest in terms of length and width. So this is the best we could do. I'm throwing this into the water because exactly. I don't want to break it though. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's it though. What do we need next? Green beans and the potato. So I don't like green beans, but I'm not eating it, so she's the one eating the beans. I don't feel like beans thinking. Then who's gonna eat the beans? Somebody has to eat the beans. I'm just gonna trim off. As you can see, I'm just gonna trim off the heads because that's where the stems are. You see these like little bits that's like kind of like sticking out, you see here? You just wanna trim it off. And the butt, sometimes they have it as well, trim it off. Why am I even trimming the heads? I'm not even the one eating it. Are you sure that the pasta goes in first? Because I feel like pasta takes shorter to cook. And then I'm just gonna align everything, align, 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 and just chop it in half. I feel like potatoes would take so much longer. Yeah, I feel like potatoes would take so much longer. Oh, 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 one drop onto the ground. Less green beans. <laughs> you just didn't want them. I just didn't want it. Okay, and then we're gonna, we're only using half the potatoes because we're having the recipe, right? So cut your potatoes in half. Oh, but, oh, this, this one has a little eye. This one has a little eye. I'm trying to do everything quickly. I guess that's why she is asking us to like half the uh, cube the uh, potatoes. Does this look like one inch to you? I think this is one inch. I'm not American. I don't know. We're adding everything in. And... Ooh, 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 ooh. The steam was hot. We're gonna let the pasta cook until it's al dente. But I mean, did she even say how long to cook the pasta for? No? She just expects us all to be pasta chefs? Yeah. But this pasta cooks really quick from my experience. You know, I'm saying the potatoes are going pretty well. Okay. They're like getting cooked really quickly. I guess she's right with a one inch cube. Props to her, you know, if you ever want to hire somebody. Wait, she lived in the 50s. She was 12 year old in the 50s. How old would she be now? Dead? <laughs> she looks like she's five, but she also looks like she's 20, you know? She acts like she's five, but she looked 20. I'm gonna put the age that she would be right now about here. This is how old Julia would be if she were real and alive. Do sea monsters live forever? That's a great point. Film theory. Matt Pat, <laughs> you know what to do. Why would sea monsters live forever though? That's not a very good film theory. That makes no sense. That speculation had no... W nothing whatsoever to back it up. A little longer than a few minutes later. It's been 10 minutes? It seems quite quick actually. Yeah. Probably like 7 to 8. But yeah, I'll let you know. I'll put, I'll put the recipe below. I don't have, you know, one of those things for putting pasta on a plate. This is a gourmet pasta. This is how much you're getting at a gourmet restaurant. Oh, I should have drained the pasta. Sorry, I'm not, I'm, I'm not white enough so I forgot. Um, what do you call that thing? The sieve thingy. Coriander? What do you call that thing where you like train? Where like the British lady make fried rice, she pour, pour the rice through the sieve. What do you call that sieve thing? Do you know what a sieve is? No. I know it starts with a C! Cor... Sieve. No! <laughs> Cor... Corlander? Let me know when you find oh, it. Oh, col... Colander. Colander! 
I've drained the pasta. Does this look like the pasta in their, in their video? Oh, I should have mixed in the pesto in, in the bowl, shouldn't I? Oof. I'm just gonna mix it all up in the bowl. We're gonna put it on the plate. There we go. Okay, so we just finished taking some photos for the pasta, and uh, I reheated it. I know I shouldn't do that, but um, I'm sorry. It took it took quite some time. Um, yeah, we're gonna try it now. It's pretty good. Do you want to give it a try? Just look at this. Now we each got half, and we're gonna go eat this, and then. It's not done yet because twin you're not in for it. 24 hours is not done yet. We still have dessert after this. We'll be back when we're done eating this. See you soon. Bye. Later that evening. Hi, so we finished the pasta and now we're on to the very, very last part of the 24 hour challenge. As you can see here, I've got ice cream cone and gelato. This is probably the most expensive thing today. It was like five to six pounds. If you haven't seen the movie, this is very prevalent throughout the movie. They were always, they are always eating ice cream somewhere. Even the grandmas were eating ice cream. You do it now, just say the thing. What's wrong with you, stupid old? <gasps> <gasps> and this is the one I got. I got pistachio gelato, cause I looked it up. They, theirs were like white and green and the traditional flavors of Italian gelato uh, is like vanilla, pistachio, what else? Chocolate, I think, a few of those. So, but I wanna do pistachio because that's not, you know, an everyday flavor you see. We don't have an ice cream scoop, so we're just gonna do the best we can with a spoon. Ooh, here, here's a joke, here's a joke about spoons. Did you hear that Reese got stabbed? No, with her spoon. If you get that joke, you know, good for you. You, you look happy and healthy, not me. If you ever care to ask for you. This is exactly the color they had in the movie. At first, it just looked like um, it was like strawberry ice cream or whatever, because it kind of looked, it got a, like a little hint of color, but I wasn't exactly sure what color it was. But this looks exactly like the ones they have in the movie. Okay, this camera's back. Just look at it. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Okay, this one is for you. Quick, quick. Is it good? It's good. But what about the flavor? 10 seconds. The flavor, it takes like 10 seconds. That's a very interesting way to describe flavor. Mine kind of looks a little uglier, but it's fine. I don't know if I love it. Nah, it doesn't taste like pistachio. It does! It's so strong flavor of pistachio. <laughs> flavor buds are so different. Flavor, flavor buds. <laughs> flavor buds, that's a new term. Mm -hmm. Cool people. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should do it. Oh, cheers. Cheers. I touched germs. No. No social distancing. Anyway, I think that's all we're gonna do for today. 24 hours has gone by so quickly, it felt like it's only been 5 hours. <laughs> so, that's all. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I feel like a lot of you don't know how that works. So if you go subscribe, you see like <laughs> right next to the subscribe button, there's a bell icon. Go click that icon so you actually get notified. Otherwise, it, it doesn't really work. And I know half of you haven't subscribed. So go subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.